Megalodons were huge prehistoric sharks and are considered to be the largest sharks that ever lived. So how huge were the Megalodon sharks? Were they simply a beefed up version of the great white sharks? And are they still lurking in the dark depths of the ocean? These giants appeared on Earth some 23 million years ago and consumed large fish such as whales and other sharks. One of the issues in estimating its true size is that the skeletons of sharks are made out of cartilage, which does not easily fossilize. So there isn't a complete megalodon skeleton for scientists to measure. This leaves teeth as the only common fossils from which scientists can compute the size of this massive shark. The largest megalodon tooth measures around 7 inches in length which is almost three times longer than those of great white sharks. Its jaws could open wide enough to swallow two adult humans standing side by side. Fossils suggest that the largest megalodons were found in oceans in the southern hemisphere and they tended to be bigger in the Pacific than in the Atlantic Ocean. Most recent scientifically accepted estimates for megalodons maximum size fall into the 60 to 65 feet range with a weight of 50 to 60 tons. Compare that to the great white shark that maxes out at about 20 feet in length and 3.5 tons in weight. While the exact date may need pinning down, what is unambiguous is that Megalodon is no longer around. Given that it hunted over huge areas often targeting big animals like whales, there is no way we could have missed it if it was still around. There is not enough prey in the sea to keep up with their diets. Around 3.6 million years ago, as Earth entered a period of global cooling and dying, megalodons went extinct. The drop in ocean temperatures likely resulted in a significant loss of habitat. It may also have resulted in the megalodon's prey either going extinct or adapting to the cooler waters and moving to where the sharks could not follow. It's generally regarded that humans, Homo sapiens, only emerged around 200,000 years ago and even the very first human relation, Homo habilis, only appeared about 2.4 million years ago. So luckily for them, no human ever met a megalodon. Megalodons likely spent most of their time in shallow waters close to the shore and were adapted to warm tropical and subtropical locations around the globe. The species was so widely spread that megalodon teeth have been found on every continent except Antarctica. Depending on what they eat, sharks lose a set of teeth every one to two weeks, getting through up to 40,000 teeth in their lifetime. This means that shark teeth are continuously raining down onto the ocean floor, increasing the chance that they will get fossilized. New research shows that Megalodon is not related to great white sharks. In fact, it is believed that the two sharks lived alongside each other and may have been in competition with each other for food. The Megalodon shark is genuinely one of history's most incredible creatures and the greatest predator of the ocean. Thankfully for the rest of the world's ocean inhabitants, the largest predators like Megalodon sharks are long extinct. If it weren't, it really wouldn't be safe to go back into the water. That's all for today's video, like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.